Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will show you, how to update or change existing academic standard data, under this, school fees management system, by using PHP script, with MySQL database. In previous part, we have already show you, how to insert or add, new academic standard data. Under this fees management system, so if you have not seen that video tutorial, so please watch that video tutorial first. Now for edit existing academic standard data, so first we want to create, edit button, in each row of data. So we have goes to action.php file, and here, we have to create, an anchor tag. And in href attribute, we have to write, academic standard.php file, with question mark, with action variable is equal to edit. And id variable value is equal to, dynamic value of dollar $row, academic standard id variable. And in anchor text, we have to write edit, so it will create, dynamic edit button link, in each row of data. Now here, we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that edit button has been created, in each row of data, so by click on this button, we can open school academic standard edit form. Now we want to make academic standard edit form, so for this, we have goes to, academic standard.php file. And here, we have to write, else if statement, and under condition, we have to write. $get action variable value is equal to edit, if this condition true, then it will execute, this block of code. And under this block, we have again write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. php is set function, and under this function, we have to write, $get id variable. So if this variable value is set, then it will execute, this block of code. Now under this block, we want to fetch, single academic standard data, and load the data, under edit form. So for this, here we have to write, dollar $query variable is equal to. Select star from academic standard table, where academic standard ID is equal to. Dollar $get ID variable value, so this query will fetch, single academic standard data. Now below this query, we have to write, dollar academic standard result variable is equal to, dollar connect variable, with query method, with two argument, so in first argument, we have to write, dollar query variable, and in second argument, we have to write, pdo class, with fetch associative method. So this code will execute above query, and return query execution result, which will be store, under dollar academic standard result variable. Now for fetch data, from dollar academic standard result variable, so here we have to write, for each loop. And under condition, we have to write, dollar academic standard result variable, as dollar academic standard row variable. Now between this, we have paste this HTML code, which will make edit academic standard template page. Now for create edit form, so we have goes to add academic standard data area, and here we have to copy, this form code. And paste, this code, under this edit academic standard block of code, and now we want to fill this form, with data. So first we want to fill academic standard name text box with data, so here in value attribute, we have to write php echo statement with dollar academic standard row variable with academic standard name table column name after this we want to set value of academic standard division select box so we have goes to jquery code part and here we have to write dollar with select box id academic standard division with value method and under this method we have to write PHP echo statement, with dollar academic standard row, with academic standard division variable, so it will set value of academic standard division select box. 
After this, we want to create one hidden field for store academic standard it details, so here we have to write. Input type is equal to hidden, with name is equal to academic standard ID, and in value attribute, we have to write. EHP echo statement, with dollar academic standard row, with academic standard ID variable. So here we have store, academic standard ID variable value, under this hidden field. After this, we want to change, submit button name from add academic standard, to edit academic standard, and value change to edit, from add. Now here, we have to click, on this edit button link, so after click on this link, so here we can see that. Academic standard edit form has been loaded in the browser, with filled academic standard data, and now we proceed, for edit this data. So we have goes to academic standard.php file, and here in php code, we have to write, if statement. And under condition, we have to write, php is set function, and under this function, we have to write. Dollar post edit academic standard variable, so if this variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, first we want to validate form data, so we have goes to, add academic standard block of code. And here, we have copy this code, and goes to edit academic standard block of code, and paste this form validation code. So here, we have to use, same validation code, for edit academic standard data. Now for check validation error, so here, we have to write, if statement, and under condition. We have to write, dollar error variable value is equal to, blank value, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. Now under this block, we want to check that, particular academic standard data already exists or not, at the time of updating of data. So for this, here we have to write, dollar query variable is equal to, select star from academic standard table. Where academic standard name is equal to, dollar form data academic standard name variable. And academic standard division column value is equal to, dollar form data academic standard division variable value. And academic standard status column value is equal to enable. Now below this query, we have to write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable, with prepare method. And under this method, we have to write, dollar query variable, so this method will make query, for execution. And now we want to execute above query, so here we have to write, dollar statement, variable, with execute method. So this method will execute above query, and after query execution, we want to check number of row, affected, after execution of this query. So for this, here we have to write, if statement and under condition, we have to write. Dollar statement variable with row count method, which will return number of row affected after above query execution. And if that number is greater than zero, then it will execute if block of code and under this block. We have to write dollar error variable is equal to academic standard data already exists. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have to proceed for update academic standard data. So here, we have to write, dollar data variable is equal to, an array, and under this variable, we will store, form data. So in first key, we have to write, double colon academic standard name, and in value, we have to write, dollar form data academic standard name variable. In second key, we have to write, double colon academic standard division, and in value, we have to write, dollar form data academic standard division variable. In third key, we have to write, double colon academic standard update on, and in value, we have to write, php time function. And in last key, we have to write, double colon academic standard id, and in value, we have to write, dollar post academic standard id variable. So here, we have store data, under this dollar data variable, now we want to proceed for, update academic standard data. So here we have to write, dollar query variable is equal to, update academic standard table. With set academic standard name is equal to, double colon academic academic standard name. 
comma academic standard division column value is equal to double colon academic standard division comma academic standard updated on table column value is equal to double colon academic standard updated on key and under where condition we have to write academic standard it is equal to double colon academic standard id now below this query we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method and under this method we have to write dollar query variable so this method will prepare query for execution now we want to execute above query so here we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have to write dollar data variable so this method will execute above query and it will update academic standard data in my sql database now we want to redirect web page so here we have to write header function and under this we have to write location which is set to academic standard dot php file with question mark and message variable is equal to edit so it will redirect web page to this url now first we want to display validation error on the web page so here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar error variable value is not equal to blank if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have to write php echo statement with dollar error variable which will be display validation error on the web page same way we want to display success message on the web page so here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar get message variable value is equal to edit so if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and here we have to write php echo statement with message like academic standard data edited so this message will be display on the web page so here our edit academic standard data code is ready now we have to check output in the browser friends first we have to refresh this web page and after refresh of this page here we can see that edit academic standard form has been load in the browser with fill form data and edit submit button now first we want to check academic standard data already exists feature is working or not at the time of update of data so here we can see that academic standard 2a is already exists in database so here in edit form we have enter 2 in academic standard name now we have click on edit button and after click on edit button so here we can see that academic standard data already exists error has been display on the web page so here academic standard data already exists validation is working properly at the time of editing of data now we have change academic standard name details and we have to click on edit button so after click on edit button here we can see that academic standard data edited success message has been display on the web page so here in this part we have learned how to edit or change academic standard data under the school fees management system in next part we will learn how to use soft delete feature for disable or enable academic standard data status under this school fees management system by using php script with my sql database so we will be meet in next part and lastly thank you for watching this tutorial